Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good afternoon. Of course, uh, it is a sad day. We are mourning, we are mourning the former first lady, Maureen Mwanawasa. And um, I know some of you might be wondering, uh, how come I'm trying to be so vocal around the, uh, this, uh, this, this issue? Well, uh, <laughs> you'd be shocked that I actually knew about Maureen Mwanawasa on a personal level. I actually knew about Maureen Mwanawasa on a personal level. We used to interact quietly. You know, it's not, it's not all the people that I interact with that I bring to social media to say, you know, this and that. Some people, I interact with them and it remains there. So, but Maureen Mwanawasa she's one of those people that i knew personally and uh, we used to, uh, to to talk you know um you know she she was quite supportive uh, uh, of me i must say she was quite supportive of me when i when i started zambian voice she was one of those people that actually uh, helped me to set up zambian voice i want to tell you that even some of the legal advices uh, that I was, you know, some of the things that I talk about, something legal, I used to consult the Maureen Mwanawasa, you know. So we knew each other quietly. I knew her quietly, but it was not, uh, you know, uh, something that, you know, I was bringing out to social media. And like I've said, there are a number of people that I know that I interact with, but I don't bring it to social media. And this time around, I'm, I'm talking about uh, ba, ba Maureen Mwanawasa, not because of the personal relationship that I had with her, no, but because ba Maureen Mwanawasa is a public figure. And I know some people want to say, hey, don't politicize, don't politicize. You must know this, that anything about a politician is political. Anything about a politician is political. But for Bamorin Mwanawasa, she was not just a politician. Of course, some people would want to argue, no, she was not a politician. No, she was. She was. She was a member of MMD. And later on, she, she joined uh, uh, UPND. Of course, she was not active uh, in politics, you know, uh, towards uh, the end. But she was a politician. And... Uh, over and above that, she was the, a, a, a first lady at one point. She was a first lady at one point. So, uh, no matter which way you want to, to, to look at it, uh, she was uh, a political figure. She was a political figure. And anything around a politician is political. So, even this death of Amorini Mwanawasa, we cannot run away from drawing in politics but it is not just for me i don't do just politics not politics for the sake of politics it is bringing in politics so that we can we can we can change the way we do things that is why i'm talking but Maureen Mwanawasa, she's gone i'm not going to bring her back i feel bad but she's gone i'm not going to bring her back the only thing that i can do is to to talk about her situation so that it can help others, it can help those who are living. That is why I'm talking. It is not, it's not about me just making noise, 
It is not about me hating Haka in the issue. No, it is not. It is about bringing out some of these negatives so that we can change. That is why Chirufatayari talks. That is why I call myself a public lawyer. Because I talk so that people, especially the vulnerable, the poor, can, you know, can, can have a better life somehow. And indeed, uh, on this instance, there are people that need my voice, that, needs, uh, that need a public lawyer. There are people that need a pu public lawyer in relation to, you know, uh, Maureen Mwanawasa. In relation to Maureen Mwanawasa. Today, uh, a number of messages are being written, and I know going into tomorrow until the day that we will be burying, so many speeches will come. We will hear so many things being spoken about on Maureen Mwanawasa. So many things. This is common. This is what we do. This is what we are good at. When a person is gone, then we speak all these positive things. Hey, whatever, whatever. Hey, whatever. But I think it is important that uh, we also look at how we conducted ourselves when the person was alive. We look at ourselves and see how did we conduct ourselves when the person was alive. But Maureen Mwanawasa, she, like I have said, she is uh, a former first lady. And she, she saved this country. But Maureen Mwanawasa, Maureen Mwanawasa saved this country. She saved this country as a first lady. But Maureen Mwanawasa was very, very supportive to Levi Mwanawasa, who many of you adore. Many of you adore Levi Mwanawasa. Me, I don't adore Levi Mwanawasa. I will not cheat. Me, I don't adore Levi Mwanawasa. For me, I mean, uh, I, I didn't like his rule. That is, I will not even pretend. I, would, I didn't like uh, Mwanawasa's rule. You know, uh, he was vindictive. I, I just don't like people that are so vindictive that go uh, after others. I don't like, I don't like those people. But anyway, Maureen Mwanawasa, Helped, helped Zambia during the time of uh, uh, Levi Mwanawasa's rule. She was, she was, uh, uh, she was, she was a prominent figure. She was very active. A number of you got jobs. A number of you got appointments through Maureen Mwanawasa. I have no doubt in my mind because I know a number of people that. That, that benefited as a result of Maureen Mwanawasa. Maureen Mwanawasa's uh, active you know, participation in leadership. And then Maureen Mwanawasa, I think the Maureen Mwanawasa uh, was it foundation, that NGO, I think it was one of, the, one of the most successful NGOs of the First Ladies. It was, it was popular, it was everywhere, a lot of people benefited from Maureen Mwanawasa uh, NGO. So she did a lot for, for Zambia. And she was very intelligent. That's one thing I liked about her. Why I was actually talking to her and why I had that personal relationship with her, Maureen Mwanawasa, it is because of her intelligence. She's, she was very intelligent. She was very objective. You know, but Maureen Mwanawasa was somebody that, you know, I would text you know, about an issue and ask her opinion and she will give me a very objective opinion. She was very objective, very, very objective woman and very intelligent, very knowledge, knowledgeable, you know. So I, I appreciated her for that, her objectivity, her intelligence and her cheerfulness. Maureen Mwanawasa was nice, smiling and a very warm woman, very warm woman, very, very good woman. So, uh, she did something that we Zambians ought to appreciate. But the question is, did we really appreciate Maureen Mwanawasa? And then more about UPND, Maureen Mwanawasa, when Maureen Mwanawasa joined UPND, she, she brought a lot of people to UPND. Even myself, I almost joined UPND at that time. But of course, I mean, certain things did not just add up. But Maureen Mwanawasa brought people by the very fact that she joined Haka in the Ichirima. People started looking at Haka in the Ichirima to say, oh, Kaishina Omundu, 
So if even Mwalimu Manasa didn't follow him, a number of people joined UPND. A number of people started supporting Haka in the Hichilema. If there is one person that has benefited so much out of Mwalimu Manasa, politically, politically, it is Haka in the Hichilema. Of course, the first one is Levi Mwanawasa himself. But the second beneficiary, among the so many people that have benefited, including those that were given jobs when uh, they were in power, but the one person, one big beneficiary, one big beneficiary is Haka Inde Ichirema. Haka Inde Ichirema benefited big time from Maureen Mwanawasa's uh, you know, alliance or Maureen Mwanawasa's membership into 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 uh, UPND. Uh, tell me which member brought people or brought respect on Haka in the Hichirema than Maureen Mwanawasa. Not even Wamdalawa GBM. Yes, Wamdalawa GBM did so much. Wamdalawa GBM brought you know the northern part of Zambia to UPND. But Maureen Mwanawasa gave by Haka in the Hichirema that that position where people started looking at him to say oh okay can she he can also be president it started with Maureen Wanawasa these other people that came in I'm a politicians they didn't bring the respect they didn't bring they should be a, a better way they didn't bring that uh, decorum you know that 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 to they didn't bring the respect that Maureen Mwanawasa brought. Maureen Mwanawasa, if you like, brought the elite or the, the you know the, 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 the upper class. The upper class started respecting uh, um, whatever Haka in the Hichilim. But as well as the people who benefited from you know, Maureen Mwanawasa's charitable, charitable activities, they also came in. The, the issue of the ranges, you know, the ranges, when you talk about central province especially, central province, a number of people came to UPND, a number of people supported Haka in the Ichirema. I can, I can challenge you to bring up one person that brought people, that brought respect, that brought, you know, the, the dignity, in Haka in the history, Madame Maureen Mwanawasa, tell me one person. Tell me one person. Nina and me. Watching Dama. Why she could have a Kuribas, Kuriba Mwanawasa. No quiet to a chindame. Eh? Ba Maureen Baba, Ba Lepa, Haka in the history, Mabari Chindama. You don't want Maureen Mwanawasa joined. And Haka in the history, used Maureen Mwanawasa because she was like the right hand person. She was like the right, the right hand person. And we actually thought she was going to be the vice president. We actually thought she was going to be the vice president. And I'm sure even Haka in the HTML, wherever he's sitting, is agreeing with me. He didn't just speak Maureen Mwanawasa because of the issue of the tribe to say, well, I but no, want to tattoo. But really, the person that was befitting at that time, the team Bepe no Kubepa, was Maureen Mwanawasa. And really, I don't know, but she, she, she was befitting. Nobody, Vana Rumango, for example, Vana Rumango, she can't come near Maureen Mwanawasa. The entire UPND, the entire UPND, they don't have a person like Maureen Mwanawasa. They don't have. They don't have a person. The point I'm trying to make is that by UPND, Makamaka Haka in the benefited out of the political activities of Maureen Mwanawasa. They benefited big time. Today, Mule even Pia, Mule even Pia, you have so much money, you are thrashing it uh, offshore out of the country, you are throwing it there because of the contribution that Maureen Mwanawasa made to UPND and to Haka in the Ichilema. She made a very big contribution. You cannot run away from it. She made a very big contribution to uh, UPND and, uh, and, uh, and Haka in the Ichilem. But after Mawina, what have you done for Maureen Mwanawasa? What did you do for Maureen Mwanawasa? 
What did you do for Maureen Mwanawasa? What have you done for Maureen Mwanawasa? You are going to be making big speeches. You are going to make big speeches about Maureen Mwanawasa. But you should be ashamed of yourself. And that's why I'm talking about this. I want you to know. I want you to have it in your, in your mind, in your hearts, that you people used Maureen Mwanawasa and you did not, you did not take care of her when she needed your help. You didn't. I know some people are saying, no, Chipo is working at State House. Chipo is a Zambian. Chipo is a Zambian. And an adult who has got her own life who has for their own life? Who deserves a job? Who deserves a job? So you cannot say, no, uh, because one English is cheaper. No, no. Chipo is cheaper. Chipo is an individual. She's on her own. She's on her own. She deserves that job. And you see that I don't talk about cheaper. I don't, I don't. I don't talk about cheaper because, I mean, the girl is, she's educated and I believe she's smart. So, on her own, she, she, she deserves that. You cannot be talking about Chipo on account of Maureen Mwanawasa. No. No. This is, a, this is an adult. This is a person that is educated. This is a person that is smart. Eh? So forget it. Don't even bring Chipo in to say, no, because we are in Gishe Chipo. No. But Maureen Mwanawasa, she was supposed to be recognized on her own. She was supposed to be recognized on her own. I know that at one point, Bamuri Mwanawasa was appointed to go to one of the foreign missions. I know you, some of you, you are, who are sitting there, you are saying, no, we tried, we tried, because you wanted to throw her in, in the foreign mission. But she couldn't go. But why didn't she go? Why couldn't she go? She couldn't go because of the, 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 the indebtedness that she had. She couldn't go because of the indebtedness that she had. She suffered financially in many ways. But surely, if there was somebody that could come to her aid, she wouldn't have suffered the way she did. She wouldn't have suffered the way she did. And this is not a situation that Vamorin Mwanawasa, Bali Virenda Lama, uh uh. Vamorin Mwanawasa, whatever Kongole, whatever was going on, it is as a result of, you know, when you are a first lady and you leave. You have got so many responsibilities. And this is how she found herself in that situation. This is how she found herself in that situation. But remember, when Levi Mwanawasa was dying, what did we say about Levi Maureen Mwanawasa? We, we, were, we were singing on top of our, on, on, on top of our, uh, our voices. Saying, Maureen Mwanawasa, hey, where are Hey, where are feeling station? Hey, shana, shana, shana. We, we, we created a perception that Maureen Mwanawasa was so rich, Maureen Mwanawasa has stolen so much. That is the perception that we, we, we created. That is the perception that we created. But look, not long after the death of the husband, but Maureen Mwanawasa started going into financial problems. This is a person that we were saying, Ali Vendalama, Ali Va, Shana Shan, Shana Shan. But look at what happened to Maureen Mwanawasa just a few years after the, the death of the, the husband. And this is a problem that we have as Zambians. This is the problem that we have as Zambians. We need to be very careful. We have got this, this, this attitude of demonizing our former leaders. Former leaders, Trababe Pesha, hey, Filefi, 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 Filefi. In a I usually restrain myself to call other people corrupt unless I've seen some evidence, like the evidence that I'm seeing with Baaka in the HDM. Like the evidence that I'm seeing with Baaka in the HDM. But when you look at some of these other people that we demonize to say, Nibaka Walala, hey, Baliba, 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 the way we demonize Bamorin Mwanawasa, can we believe it that she, 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 she has gone? She has, she, she has departed this life with almost nothing. She has departed this life with almost nothing. And I, I, I do understand that, you know, yes, she has died out of uh, an ailment. But look, when somebody is not living well, somebody is, 
is psychologically stressed. This is what I was talking about yesterday. I was talking about this yesterday to say a lot of people are dying because of economic stress. And Bamorinu Wanawasa, she's one of those examples. There are a number of people, if they didn't have the jobs that they have, if they were not living the, the, the life that they were living, they would have gone. Eh? But I mean, let's look at, let's be a realistic, look at some of these things. But you get myself. Eh? But Vengi, a lot of people, they are sick. Bala Luala Luala Fidia, Bala Mospito, Wafu Machama Nashan, Chama Nashan. Because Bala Ikara Kumino. Some of these people, any of a UPND, power, they will not even last. They will not even stay for a long time. They will die. They will die, some of these people. But some of these people, they will die. But because of the positions that you have, you survive. And this is the same thing that I'm talking about when I'm saying, Bamorim Wanawasa Bafuaba Iche. If Bamorin Wanawasa was helped, I mean, I, I strongly believe that she would have lived longer. I strongly believe that. Nombo muntu alinenko ngole kumutwe like this. Alinenko ngole kumutwe like this. And she was, it was so difficult for her. Some of the, the dates that we are talking about, she got and invested in the farm. Bamorin Wanawasa liked farming. She liked farming. And some of these in Congolese that you read about, she got that money and invested in Mufami. And of course, things didn't go well. So, some of these problems that we are talking about, it's not that Mamorin Mwanawasa got the money. She was a humble woman. She was a very humble woman. Very humble woman. She was not a woman at your Paris. No, she was not like that. Ever since the husband died, she lived a very humble life. A very humble life. But because of the so many pressures that were around her, she ended up Mungongole. She ended up Mungongole and I mean it it overburdened her. It overburdened her. She even ended up being suspended. Alkulaz. She was suspended because of financial challenges. So Bamorin Wanwasa, she was really going through a lot of problems. A lot of problems. And she was going through a lot of problems with a person that she fought, a person that she helped in State House. Vahaka in the Ichirema would have helped. Vahaka in the Ichirema, as you'll be reading that statement, put a line. To say I regret for not having had come to your to, to your aid. You need to put it in your statement. You should put a, a sentence there to say I regret, I wish I had come to your aid. You should put that. Because really you had an opportunity. You had an opportunity to help Morin Wanawasa. You had an opportunity, but you didn't do it. You didn't do it. So the job, even the job that you are saying that nobody pay the chipo, we share salary, yakuwa chipo. Eh, ingadi pele kongole wa modini mwana wa sababu kwe. You people who are saying, but ingisha ni chito mwana, salary yale fola, chipo. Do you think it can pay the debts that the mother had? Even chipo, I'm sure, if only she had the way of saying this, she would have brought it before the president to say, Mr. President, can you help my mother? But I'm sure she couldn't do it because she thought he would do it by himself. But he never did it. He never did it. And yes, some of you will be like saying, but no, where would have the money come from and whatever, whatever. This money that you are stealing, you are giving money to these foreigners. Eh? You are sharing millions of dollars, millions of dollars. But Maureen Wanasa didn't have in Congolese millions of dollars. All she needed was basically just about a thirty thirty thousand dollars, and that's it. That's she needed just not so much money. Eh? 
she didn't know so much money, you would have helped. You would have helped. You would have come up with a plan. I mean, who would take Who would take off with the for Bantuba? Wow. Who would take off with the for when a, a government, when you are in power, you should be able to help people. You should be able to help people. That is why people fight, Kaili. That's why people fight. We, we should not even pretend that's why people fight to get into power. It is so that they can be helped. And Maureen Mwanawasa deserved to be helped. She deserved to be helped. Of course, she's not. She, she's, she's a former first lady. She deserved to be helped. You didn't help her. You didn't help her. This is very bad. It's very bad. It's very bad. You never helped her. You never helped her. You never helped her. You never, helped her. You never went close to her. You didn't. You didn't. When you were reading those articles in the paper, Maureen Mwanawasa, a finance bank, is he, he has filed for bankruptcy. Did you do anything? A finance bank has whatever, whatever. Did you do anything? A, this company, whatever, whatever. Did you do anything? You didn't. No, you'll be making those long speeches. You are hypocrites. You are hypocrites. I want to tell you, you are hypocrites. Whatever speeches that you are going to be making, deep down your hearts, I want you to know that you are hypocrites. You are hypocrites. You did not help this woman. You could have helped this woman, but you didn't. You didn't. And it's not that this woman was, uh, 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 was, uh, uh, was a rogue. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. This was a very good woman. This was a very good woman, a very reasonable woman. But you couldn't give, we couldn't give her a chance. We couldn't give her a chance to recover. We didn't. And finally, she's gone now. Then no more. We can say, "Hey, Morin Mwanawasa, Morin Mwanawasa, Morin Mwanawasa." But now, out of all these things that we are we are saying, we have to learn. We have to ask ourselves. We have to ask We have to ask ourselves. 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 When died, you spoke strongly, you campaigned that, you know, vice president should be looked after. Vice president should be looked after. I don't know if all the vice presidents are being looked after. I don't know. But I know that at least for you, you have got a vehicle coming from government. I know you have got certain people that are being paid by government. I know even on the house issue, I know you are being helped by government. I know you are benefiting so much from government, Baneva Sumumba. I don't know if the benefits that Baneva Sumumba is getting, Chirachi Moto, Mwenderamo, Inganda, Namawekazi, I don't know. I don't know. Ngachakwebati, others are also benefiting. I hope Vamayova Vawina, she's also a. Uh, yeah, at I hope she's also getting. I hope Baka Vindera, I know. Baka Vindera, I know. Baka Vindera, I know. Baka Vindera, I Vindera, I know. I hope he's also benefiting. But guys, God, I hope this is being done, you know, to all of them. But my point is. Can we also look at these former first ladies? Can we look at the former first ladies? I think that position, yes, it is not an elective position. They are not the people that are elected. But these people, they, they are so influential. These people are so influential. These people, they are first ladies for goodness sake. I think we, can, we need to look after them. Somehow we need to look after them. I know they are not the ones who are elected. No, but I think we should find a way of looking after them. Because I know that, you know, like Vera Chiruba, I'm sure she's struggling. 
I'm sure she's struggling. Bama ewa bakaseba. Eh ba muri ba 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 Christine kaseba. What how how is she living? How is she living? Eh? So we need to to be very careful and look at these people. I don't think he, we, we should neglect these people to a situation where they become so desperate to, an, to a point whereby it is embarrassing. But what is so bad is the way that we are treating even the way we treat some of these people. Like the way we are treating this is what Edgar Lungu foresaw when Edgar Lungu started building properties Eh? Belt flats for Ba Esther Lungu. It is to avoid a situation where Ba Esther Lungu, in case he dies, move to Nayen. In case Ba Lungu Bafwa, Ba Lungu thought, okay, in case I'm not, I'm not there, how will my wife live? Ba Ba Kulino Tuma flats, Muayapo Kama flats. Eh? What do you want? What do you want? Yes, of course, Tandiwe Banda also. Yeah. What did you want? What did you want? What, what, what are you trying to do? What, what is the future of the Wanawasa? With what you are doing, Kuliba Esther Lungu, what, what future are we foreseeing, Kuliba Esther Lungu? What future are we foreseeing? We want to strip her to be a destitute. To be a destitute, that's what we want. When the husband thought has taken care of the wife, built some properties, but you know what? I'm not going to be able to do it. Ni hypocrisy. Ukumka leli that yo, hey, Morin Mwanawasa, Morin Mwanawasa, Morin Mwanawasa. But look at the way you are treating these others. Look at the way you are treating Vanessa Lungu. And you know, like how I say that, I usually avoid talking about Vamaeva Mutinta. Vamaeva Mutinta. Vamaeva Mutinta. I am not drawing you into politics. But you know, you are very powerful. Me, I know you are very powerful. You are very powerful. A lot of these women that are married to these influential people, they are very powerful. I know some of these women who I have met, I know they are very powerful. And I have, I have heard the stories. I have heard the stories. Vamaewa Mutinta, she's very powerful. But Vamaewa Mutinta, when you see your fellow women suffering, do you intervene for them? Do you intervene for them? Do you speak on their behalf? You are a woman. You are a woman. Are you telling me, Imani, eh, eh, you are so ignorant about what is happening in our society that you don't know? Are you telling me, you didn't know about the suffering of Vamorin Wanawasa? You didn't know. You couldn't intervene for her. You couldn't intercede for her. I mean, you are the... Bahaka in the is very powerful. The next powerful person is you. And why you are powerful? Because you are the man that you are the woman that, that stays with this with this man. Bahaka in the will go everywhere and everywhere and everywhere. People trying to touch him, they can't even touch him. They can't even reach him. They can't even reach him. They can't even shake his hand. But he mutinta. Haka inde ichirema, esa munga ndamu mienu. Esa munga ndamu mienu, Afrika afura le sapato, afura le fya kufuala. Mwamu mwona uyu. Mwamu mwona uyu, haka inde ichirema. Ala la lefu wala le minko nono, muli na nkwe. Kuti mwamu uusha na, 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 na 03 kuti mwamu uusha, iwe buka tulande. You are very powerful. But... How do you inf how do you influence Haka in the Ichirima? For who? For who? Why are you not influencing Haka in the Ichirima for, 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 your, for your fellow women? 
Why didn't you influence Haka India Ichirima to help Bamorin Mwanawasa? Why? Ima Bamorin Bamutinta, Ima Bamutinta. Do you think it is okay the way by Esther Lungu Bale Chula? Do you think it is okay? Apaso Kulichiro Mukakumana, you will meet. Imeba mutinta mukakumana na ba Esther Lungu mukakumana na ba na ba Vera Chiruwa mukakumana na ba Tanjiwe mukakumana you will meet I know these functions you will meet as you will be looking at these your fellow women what will be running in you what will be running in you knowing what they are going through how are you going to look at ba Mayoba Esther Lungu when you look at her face with what she's going through. What is going to run in your head? When you'll be doing that body viewing, you'll be seeing Wamorin Mwanawasa lying in the casket. Are you going to say, are you going to say you tried with the opportunity that you have, with the privilege that you have of seeing Aka in the naked? Of seeing Aka in the naked? Did, did, are you going to say you had an opportunity to intervene for this woman. Oh, yes, you'll be wailing and whatever, whatever, putting up so that woman at young lady. But you couldn't help, you couldn't intervene. You couldn't you couldn't you, you couldn't intervene for your fellow woman. Eh? You couldn't intervene. Why couldn't you intervene for these people? You could have done that. And even today, we have these other women. What are you going to do about it? Because this is a lesson. This is a lesson. This is a lesson. But in Mutambo, whatever, no one is immortal. Of course, no one is immortal. I'm not, we are not talking about immortality. Be logical. Be logical. No one is talking about immortality here. Unless your, your Nigerian papas, maybe they are immortal. But everybody's motto. But when we are alive, what do we do? What do we do? We need to help one another. Yes, death will come. But as we are alive, we should be able to help one another. That is my point. I don't care. We are going to die tomorrow, whatever, whatever. I don't care. The point is that when we are privileged, like the way Mutinta is privileged, she should be able to help her fellow ladies. And especially the former first ladies. She's the first lady today. She's the first lady today. So she should be able to look at her friends to say, how are they? How are they? And intervene for them. And intervene for them. Because soon she will also be a former first lady. Soon she will be a former first lady. And will she be happy to be treated the way these others are being treated? Would she be happy to fall into some dirty, some financial challenges the way Maureen Mwanawasa went into financial challenges? Would she be happy, you know, if she's neglected? Or maybe she thinks, you know, the husband has stolen so much. So maybe that's what she thinks. Maybe, maybe that's what she thinks. But I'm telling you, you just never know what life will bring tomorrow. You just never know. Like in the gospel of that rich man who was saying, now I am so rich, it's okay, now I have packed my bands, they are full, I'll just be sitting and drinking and whatever, whatever. And God said, you are being foolish because tonight I'll take out my life out of you. Even when you look at Job, Job was okay. Job in the Bible, Job was okay. He had all the riches, everything was going right. But at one point, Job found himself that he had nothing. Found himself that he had nothing. So don't, don't think that you people, you, you are supernatural beings. Don't think that you are supernatural beings. No matter how much money you have, no matter how, how powerful you are, don't think you are supernatural beings. You are not supernatural beings. You are not supernatural beings. I'm addressing, I'm addressing you today because your former, the, the, your, your fellow first lady, 
she's gone and she went through problems and there are others who are also going through problems you are privileged what are you doing how are you interceding for these women your fellow women how are you interceding for them how are you interceding for them you need to be compassionate you need to be sympathetic in i'm telling you i i don't like to drag you in but surely some of these things which happen if you if you if you were to to, to intervene if you were inter, to intercede some of these things would not be happening some of these things would not be happening but surely surely this is how are you going to feel how are, when you meet these people like you're going to meet them how are you going to feel to see your fellow women suffering at the hands of your husband how are you going to feel because don't tell me that these people no, don't tell me that. Imova Mutinta, what you are what you are getting, you know that. You are getting so much, so much privileges. You are getting so much, even as we speak, you are getting so much. Eh? You are getting so much. So I'm sure you understand the privileges of being a first lady or being in, in, in the, the first family. You you understand. And these people were going through the same. They had the same. But look what they are going through. Why can't you do better? Why can't you do better? Why can't you change the narrative? It is very sad that Wamorim Wanwasa Nawaya, I'm not a doctor, but I'm telling you that, yes, I know. I know. It's not today that I've known, I've known that Wamorim has had some issues here and there, you know, uh, health-wise, but she was, she was really strong. But I strongly believe that these problems that, she, that, that overwhelmed her, they weighed her down. They weighed her down. They made her weaker. They made her weaker. I strongly believe that. Yes, it is God who, who, who takes our life and whatever, whatever, but I can't help it but to think that you would have done better. Thank you very much. Somebody is talking about Mabutu Seseseko. Exactly. Mabutu Seseseko was very rich. Was very rich. What happened? What happened? I think the point is that let us look after each other. We impact I don't think that I'm just trying to politicize this and whatever. All I'm saying is that can we look after each other? Can we consider one another? Can we consider one another? Let us not treat each other badly. Eh? Because and you neglect others. It is not good. That is my point. And this, it is not just about it's about everyone. It is about even those of you consider others. Consider others. Yes, there are so many problems. But they say, you know, think globally, but act locally. Those who are around you, help them. Those who are around you, help them. Those that you can see, help them. Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. Consider others. Consider others. Na papata, consider others. That's all I'm saying. Consider others. I mean, you know, these women, I do remember one time myself, uh, I, I was arrested. I think I stayed, uh, you know, muscles for some time, for a few days. And then the day that I was released, I think I was even going to court. After court, I didn't even have, there was nothing at home. There was nothing. And I went to Kulibalungu. I went to Kulibalungu. I'm, I'm, I have to tell this story. I went to Kulibalungu. I found Balungu. And I said, Kunga and Anafi Shupa Bosu. And he said, that day, he said, I, that, uh, the last that I had, Pariobonapera, Nava Anukuya, Apanishkwet. But Vamaewa Esther Lungu, Pariumfuireko. You know what she did? She, 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 she called the driver. 
Ukwe wa tivasu, balete kama vegetables, zisha, nchani. She collected a few things and gave me. And from that day onwards, I, I have so much respect for my, my wife. That is a mutimandela that if you talk about mutima wife, we should try by all means to help. We should try by all means to help. To kwa to mutima wako afwa, ba mayo ba mutinta na papata. Na kenyu mutima kuba nenu. Na kenyu mutima kuba nituwa vengi. Ba haka inde ichile, ma some of these things that he's doing, you should be able to come and say, mm -mm, this is not nice. Ni mwe ba mayo imwe. Ni mwe ba mayo imwe. Eh? Ni mwe, ni mwe mfukati noto wana tuankuko. Look after us. Some of these problems that we are going through, I think you could even help. You could even help because I, I, I mean, women have got softer hearts. Baka inde ichile mabari koso mutima, yes, mabari koso mutima. Bati, imwa ba mayo ba yes, ba 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 mutinta. Kuti mwa nasho mutima wa waka inde ichile ma. So that some of these things which are happening, they don't happen. Because these things, mailo, you'll be out of you. New state house. And you might need friends. You might need people to help you. You just never know. Life is never the same. Life is never the same. How Mandy? So, you know, for a job of a grand, I go to Fino Govata. Yes, my Mori Manawasa, Navaya, Bufa, Wakwalesa. But I think we could have done better. I think we could have done better. Makamaka imwe wene waka inde ichilema. The biggest beneficiary of Maureen Mwanaosa political life. You would have uh, you would have done better. Yes, thank you very much for the job that you have given to Chipo. But that job cannot, wouldn't have helped by Maureen Mwanaosa in the situation that she was. Imwe you could have helped. Imwe you could have helped. Even that finance bank, you would have spoken to them. You would have spoken to finance bank. You would have negotiated for Bamorin Mwanawasa. But you didn't. You didn't. And a number of you also benefited from Bamorin Mwanawasa. Even in, the, even in the judiciary, some of you benefited from Bamorin Mwanawasa. You benefited. But look, she was being dragged left, right, and, left, right, and center. She was even suspended. Did you come to her head? You didn't. But I think that the venerdictory, that she can even the dictory, whatever, very whatever, eh? I don't think that they are going to do But really, how did you help this woman? Hypocrisy. Let us look after each other. Let us help one another. If I'm not sure how to do it, I'm going to do This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.